Hey, best is Spiel for 64K and welcome to how to tutorial number 10. Welcome to 64K, hosted by Bass Tishby. And welcome back. So today's episode is about a digital tape deck for your Commodore 64. I'm going to show you how to use this and go over its main features. So yeah, here's the two decks side by side for a size comparison. I love the small compact nature of the digital one. So if you live in North America and own a Commodore 64 then tape cassette gaming like this you're probably not very familiar with it or at least you may not have used it very often. So the cassettes, games came on cassette like that, you know it's just like an old audio tape which you had music on, that's all it is, it's just got data on it instead. So this is like a really common format in Europe and Australia and New Zealand, countries like that. It never really caught on in North America on the C64 disc basically took over and that was the primary format for video games over here but everywhere else cassette gaming was a major thing. So what's the reason why I bought this digital tape deck? Well over the last year or so I've had two tapes snap on me using it in the original Commodore 64 data cassette and that is pretty uh it's pretty sad to be honest. I kind of don't want to risk too many more of my tapes being played although I still do it's just what I want to do but I'm kind of like got me a bit wary put it that way so I wanted to get a digital tape deck so I can still experience the whole you know the whole procedure of loading a game from tape even though it is digital but going through my real C64 it's just a whole different feeling you have to wait for the game it takes quite a while to load you know five minutes can be longer than that even it plays specific music to like whatever title it loads up these awesome graphic screens with like you know giving you putting you in the atmosphere of the game it's usually like something about the game a big spaceship shooting something it's just really nice it's like you sit back and you wait you listen to the music it really pumps you up for the game it's it's kind of an experience that I don't you don't really experience anymore um, there's no games now that take a hell of a long time to load and doesn't really get you in the atmosphere. It makes you appreciate the game when it actually comes on because you've waited a while for it to come on so you naturally would give the game a little bit more time. You might start it and you might not like it but you're gonna play it a little bit more and you may even find you like it. Unlike modern games you know now we just slap them on like come on instantly you give it a few seconds you don't like it you just turn it off and it's like this way you like really <laughs> you have to wait for your time and when you finally get to play it you actually give it a give it a good shake before you just turn it off. So it's also like um, it's a different way of playing. Okay so I bought this cassette deck off eBay. It came loaded with an SD card full of games. Lots and lots, hundreds and hundreds. This is an 8 gig memory card just an SD card, it goes in the bottom there just like that, clicks in. I also put a whole ton of my own games on there, so I've got like probably about 500 right now. Commodore 64 games are really small as far as memory goes, so 8 gig is way more than enough that you would ever need. So just bear in mind that this is specifically designed to work with tape files. Any video game file that you download off the internet that ends in .tap like that, that is what you can use on this. It's going to have the whole old loading sequence and all that kind of stuff. This works on the Commodore 64. It also works on a VIC-20. So that's a bonus if you have a VIC-20. It works on that as well. Okay, so let's look at the LCD dashboard on the cassette deck and I'll show you the options. So let's flip across your options. You've also got record just like an original tape deck. So we'll go to options here. I'll show you the main features. Machine, this is very useful. Like I said earlier, you can change between a Commodore 64, you've also got a C16 and a VIC-20. So that's quite cool if you have those systems. A video option is very useful for me especially. I live in North America, so you can switch between PAL and NTSC depending on your Commodore 64. So that's pretty cool. 
go back here to play, get it ready. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to load a game from this digital tape deck. If you've never loaded a game from an original tape deck, then I can understand that it's, you wouldn't even know where to start really. It's a very simple, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first step is getting the cassette deck there ready for a game. So basically you can hit run, stop and Commodore key right here and it says press play on tape. So you've got that ready. You can also just do it old school. You can type L-O-A-D load and then you hit return and that'll bring up the same thing. It'll say press play on tape. So you can do it both ways. So now that it says press play on tape, you go to the digital dashboard there and you select your game. Okay, so now it's in play mode, we select that and you can go through the alphabet here and find whatever game you want. And then you select that, I'm going into M, I'm going to speed it up here and get to the game I want to show you. I'm choosing Maki, the Konami game, I'm choosing that because it has a nice loader screen and also some good music while it loads, so I'll select that. Okay, so once you press the play button on the digital tape deck, it'll start searching for the game. It goes to this blue screen, it means it's just searching for it. In a few seconds, you'll see a display here. It'll say it's found whatever game you starting to load. Like there, it says it's found Maki. So you can press the space bar here, or you can press fire button on the controller, and it'll continue, and this is when like, the real game starts to load. So over here you can see it's got a percentage, so it gives you a percentage of how long it's going to take to load, which is very nice. So as you can see, as these games load, it's bringing up a picture here for Maki based on the Konami arcade game. It also plays music. This is the known as one of the ocean loaders. I've got it on NTSC mode, so the, it's a little bit sped up. It sounds a little bit faster than it usually does. but. This is what you do, you wait, you look at the graphics, you get excited for the game, it's gonna take probably another three or four minutes, maybe, for the game to load, and then it should be done. So an important note is that a lot of cassette games are single loaders. What it means is that, like a game like Maki, it loads up, it's done, it never loads again, you, that's the whole game is there. There are though a whole bunch of Commodore 64 games that are called multi-loaders. These games will load after you get past each level. How it works with an original cassette deck, once you press play on it and it loads up the first level, it goes into like a pause mode. That's exactly what this digital one does as well. If you get past say first level and it's going to continue loading, it'll just automatically continue loading on the digital cassette deck. So it works exactly the same as an original one. And here it is, Maki. It's just loaded. I'm going to have a quick go. Okay, so that's it for another tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can please share the video, I'm Best HB. If you could like and subscribe also, they'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.